thousand family offices managing six trillion dollars around the world, some of them bigger than hedge funds, but they don't have nearly the same oversight. And that's because as part of the Dodd-Frank legislation, family offices won a special carve out from Congress that allows them to avoid any SEC registration as long as they serve a single family and they don't give investment advice. Now, family offices made the case to Congress at the time that they only make conservative investments to preserve family wealth and they don't try to beat the markets. Now, Archegos did not make a single filing with the SEC throughout its entire history, despite placing those billions of dollars in bets. Now, some family offices are required to disclose their share filings through 13Fs to the SEC, but that is only if they own more than $100 million in stocks. And attorneys tell me that rule is not always either understood or followed, which Wilf would be a generous explanation for why Archegos made these huge bets without anyone it, knowing about them. It would, but, but I would also say that whilst I totally uh, agree with, with the gist of, of, of what you're saying and that this it seems like their behaviour was as aggressive as it could come and uh, it was only meant to be long-term preser preservation of wealth, but the, the other key point there is as long as it's the family's own money and they're not giving anyone else investment advice, those are probably two more powerful and important factors which do apply here and do explain why it could be understandable why they should face lower levels of regulation than a financial advisor or, or a typical hedge fund. True. But if you look at how family offices have grown up, both in terms of size and sophistication, if part of the role of the SEC and the government is to understand systemic risk, if we have now $6 trillion dollars that is effectively a shadow hedge fund system, we used to talk about the shadow banking system, then maybe there could be some kind of broad disclosure when you reach, let's say, a billion dollars or some threshold, which is now technically required but not always followed, just, again, to, to better prepare the landscape for what could be some systemic risk because yeah. of their size. No, for sure. Size and, and, to your main initial point, the types of trading they're doing. Is it just tracking the market or, or is it aggressively trying to beat uh, single-day moves in massive stocks. Uh, Robert, thank you so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.